However, the electronics on this in terms of ESC are out of this world. And why do I say that? So today we're going to be going over these as fast as possible in my experience with all of them. We have the full speed toothpick and even the prototype that Diatone and Kebab FPV are currently uh, working on, which is this one right here. This is not the final version. We'll also talk about this. So let's jump right into it. Now, the Sailfly X is one of the cheapest here along with the Red Devil, but the quality control on the Sailfly Happy model is much better than the Red Devil in my opinion. I'm um, not saying that the Red Devil is bad. They fly just about the same. And um, I did burn the VTX. And the reason for that is the quality control. Where you see where this battery lead would connect to the flight controller and sticking up. Well, it was much longer than that. And the board comes pre-installed upside down. So those are like half a millimeter away from the carbon fiber. So being a little bit rough, I plugged it in and voila, it just didn't want to boot anymore. And it turns out that I actually burnt something on the VTX. The VTX is damaged. Whenever it's connected, nothing boots, but the, the flight controller is still alive. So I've came up with this Frankenstein solution between a trash can and a red devil here. So it worked out pretty great. This way I have another toothpick now, which makes me really happy. It flies okay. It's only been five flights. So I mean, with this modification, I've flown the red devil in China. It flies almost as good as the happy model sale fly. So uh, you can get whatever's on sale basically, but keep an eye for possible shorts. Very important with the red devil. The sail fly, the most efficient, most reliable, um, just make sure you don't turn air mode on. Now, some people don't understand that air mode doesn't burn your motors, but if you get into a weird crash where it's just going full throttle trying to fix itself, boom, one of the props, two props stop, and then it's still trying to do that, you'll burn and FET or you'll burn the motor. So that's why I, if I'm flying in close proximity, I turn off air mode and I try not to fly with air mode, then I'm safe in that perspective. I don't have to worry about burning a motor or the motor desoldering itself or anything of that nature. This has been... It's, it's gotten way more than 100 lipos in it. So this has been absolutely phenomenal, 2 and 3S, and I really do enjoy it. The only thing, the only drawback to this is the camera angle cannot be changed. That's something to take note of. Also, another thing to take note of, the camera on this one is really great out of the box. And uh, the VTX is okay, but if you're, use, if you're using rapid fire or something, you're going to be fine. If not, you'll need some sort of a patch if you're going to be going a little bit further than, I would say, 90 to 100 meters. All right, so this one, efficient, reliable, fast, and beautiful. <laughs> because this is my most reliable one that I usually pick up. Now let's put this to the side here. Let's talk about the full speed toothpick. Now this one is not the one you would buy right out of the box because this one has been modified. The one where you purchase comes with the Cadex EOS, I think it's called. That camera is okay. You know, you have iFlight using it. You have Diatone using I think, no, Diatone's not using it. You have the Red Devil using it. And um, I don't know who else is using it, but it's the Cadex EOS, the small one. It does have this rainbow effect when you're flying through the woods, which isn't really the greatest. However, what I've done with mine here is I took, if you remember the full speed HD CineWoop kind of thing going on, I took that canopy because it fits the Cadex and I put, I was able to actually put a Cadex in here, uh, which is pretty amazing. Flight time obviously did drop to three minutes, three minutes and 20 seconds, which is still really great. And I'm still buffing out the kinks. However, the electronics on this in terms of ESC are out of this world. And why do I say that? I got stuck in a tree and I said, I don't care if I burn it, I need that thing down. Today, I just thrashed it for like 10 minutes and, you know, started rebooting and I, I, just, I just didn't want to lose it because the SD card was in here. And then I was finally able to get it down slightly. Then I took one of the bags and I just tossed it and I dropped it down. Nothing got damaged. The motor still work. The ESC still works. And uh, if you were to try to do that with any other, you know, maybe the previous generation of these crazy B boards, I think you would have probably burned a FET or two. Um, but here, nothing was burned. And this is what makes me believe that this could be the best toothpick electronics you can find in terms of ESC and flight controller. And you can probably, if you have an old full speed HD, one of those, you can just take them off. They come like this. They're 16 by 16. I removed these connectors on this and soldered directly. And you have the flight controller, which is an F4, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it's an F4 with OSD and everything. I think the, the motors, though, are weaker than the happy model because I did burn a motor already and I had to replace it. If you guys have seen my previous video, it's because I had air mode on. The motors aren't the strongest, 
But the, the ESC is really great and the flight controller is really great on this one. But I do recommend you try to do what I did here, which is the full speed HD canopy, Cadex Turtle. So I'll just do a quick rundown. So if anyone wanted to try this, and if you guys want more detail, let me know down in the comment section. Bottom is the VTX, top is the Cadex Turtle. Then it goes to this 3D printed part that changes 20 by 20 to 16 by 16. Then you get your ESC and then your flight controller. And uh, that's how I've done it here. And this is out because I'm gonna replace this with the R9M uh, so I can get more range and uh, try to get cinematic footage with this because you know I was never able to fly in the areas I fly right now with these guys. They're just so quiet and um, so much fun and nobody really notices you unless you get around 20 meters of distance and they could hear it. But other than that, nobody notices you at all. And I really love that. So in terms of electronic and HD capability, uh, I think the full speed toothpick is the way to go. You'll have to do some work to get it there, uh, but it's not really much. I actually didn't even have to solder anything to just add that board. I just took the camera out and then I plugged in uh, just the camera into the Cadex Turtle and I was good to go. Uh, that was, that's all the modifications I did. Also I removed the connectors and soldered the motors directly um, to reduce some weight. But um, other than that, it's, it's, a, it's a phenomenal beast. So what I am currently personally recommending are these two. And um, they're re both really great. And they're the ones that are getting used uh, the most often right now. But I'm going to have to calm down on the happy model because I used it way too much. And I want to try the red devil here and then hopefully try to also do some sort of HD mod to this in a way. Kind of like this here, but maybe with the Fox here mix or something, see which one's lighter and then we'll try to do it here. The Tiny Hawk S, this is the new one and the old one, but I don't see them for anything else other than indoors because their efficiency is terrible. Um, they, they come down, the, the batteries are burning hot. Even though if I use them on this, they, I'd be going much faster, flying much longer, and they won't even come down hot. So in terms of efficiency, this is terrible. In terms of indoor, super stable flight, this is beautiful. But I don't see its use for outdoor because of its efficiency is just terrible. If you're really looking for a nice micro to have outdoors, then you want to go for the toothpick class here. And a lot of people are really trying to avoid that name because of these. But I'm telling you, China is doing something really good with this. I mean, it's, you know, they're cheap and they actually fly really great, better than a lot of these little tiny ones that cost like 200 bucks, 88 bucks and 77 dollars. You can't go wrong. Now the kebab diatone is awesome. The, the components on it look great. It's using a TBS Nano, I think. Um, it's also using the new Mamba 16 by 16 stack in ESC and the motors look phenomenal, but it still needs more work. Um, I did have some jello. This is a prototype. This is not the final production. Um, so yeah, th I'm not even supposed to make video on this, but I just thought I'd show it to you guys. Can't wait to get the final version though. So just to summarize again, this toothpick, I think the electronics on it are possibly the best in terms of ESC to handle current. Motors aren't that great. It is really efficient. Happy Fly also is super efficient, super reliable. Just don't turn on air mode. I think everything will be fine. Um, so both of these I'd highly recommend. Obviously this one, if you wanted to update to some kind of HD flying, you can do that. I'm sure we can do it on this as well, but um, I'm gonna have to look into how to do it. I, I don't know just yet, I'm gonna try to figure out. But unfortunately, I don't wanna really do anything with it because I like how it flies just to, as is. So I wanna keep this as my base model, base model toothpick just for, you know, self, just pleasure basically, just me flying, enjoying it. This one I think I might come up with is like the Red Devil slash Happy Fly. Uh, they're using basically the same motors, same components, everything about the same except the VTX and the camera. So maybe here we might do some modifications, but also uh, Eoshin just released a new toothpick with the 4K with the Cadex, what is it called? I forgot what it was called, that new 4K Cadex camera. So they released one, so we're gonna ch test it out. This frame is really nice from iFlight and the hardware, but that's all I can say, the motor's burned because I guess misinformation. Uh, this one still needs work and it's still not going to be released. I don't know when, uh, but I'll keep you guys updated. I'm going to try to tune it because it seems like it has a lot of potential. Th th it's really sturdy, really sturdy. Maybe that's why it's vibrating so much. So this is how the original canopy looks like for the full speed toothpick. And you can see the difference here. I took this one from the full speed HD. So you can maybe buy that frame or 3D print this one. You can 3D print this part anyways on Thingiverse. And well, that's it guys. I'll have everything linked down below. Go ahead and check those out and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out guys.